One orchestration situation requiring special treatment is when the orchestra is accompanying solo voices. A loud tutti with percussion and brass can drown out any solo voice. On the other hand, if the composer only writes for a few of the instruments in the orchestra, it can end up sounding like chamber music. How can we get around this problem? The most common situation where orchestra is combined with individual voices is opera. Normally an opera orchestra is seated at the pit in front of the stage. That does somewhat reduce the orchestra's volume, but even here, if composers don't know their craft, the voices can easily be drowned out. A wonderful model for orchestration with voices is Bizet's Carmen. Here we'll look at a few examples from Carmen, the first act, to see how Bizet solves this problem. Here, first we hear Morales singing and then Michaela. The main moving line is in the violins far above the vocal range. It's also quiet and light with lots of staccato articulation. The other strings just have short chords and an offbeat accompaniment, leaving lots of air in the mixture. A legato counterpoint, first in the bassoon, and then in the medium range flute and horn doubled in octaves, fills out the texture. This texture is rich because it has multiple planes of tone, but each plane is light. When Morales pauses, the flute and oboe, doubled in octaves, enter with a short two-note motive. It's then imitated in the violins. At this point, Morales only has short explanations. Voyez, voyez. This is not a moment when the voice is flourishing melodically. The orchestration is fuller when the choir comes in with A son secours, il faut aller. And then we hear sustained strings for the first time as the triplet violin motive descends. When Morales next sings, the orchestra is completely silent. A short string phrase links his phrase to Michaela's response. Note once again the short string chords that accompany her. After Morales says, Je suis là, unaccompanied, for the first time we have sustained strings accompanying the voice. Notice how the first violins have the same line as Michaela, but with a sustained D-flat instead of repeated notes. Trying to synchronize repeated notes exactly with the voice is tricky. This way the sustained line lets her diction remain in the foreground. Of course the string dynamics are still very quiet here. There are also no double basses. Sustained low notes can easily obscure the voice. When she then says, Le connaissez-vous, the strings accompany her just with light pizzicato. Little woodwind arabesques intervene before Morales replies. In the next section, Morales is accompanied by a playful staccato motive in the woodwind. The vocal line is doubled by the clarinet, staccato, an octave higher, and the staccato bassoons fill out the harmony. Forns add some volume at the peak of the phrase. Let's listen. Je suis là, voilà. Mon brigadier à moi s'appelle Don José, le connaissez-vous Don José, nous le connaissons tous. Bruno est-il avec vous, je vous prie Il n'est pas brigadier dans notre compagnie. Alors il n'est pas là Non, ma charmante. Non, ma charmante, il n'est pas là, mais tout à l'heure il y sera, oui tout à l'heure il y sera, il y sera quand la garde montante remplacera la garde descendante, il y sera quand la garde montante remplacera la garde descendante. Now let's look at another example with somewhat fuller orchestration. Here Michaela is singing. At first glance, this looks a bit heavy, since both sections of violins and the cellos are all doubling the vocal line. As we mentioned before, when instruments double the vocal line, they should not include all the repeated notes, and this is true here as well. In addition, the woodwind also doubled the vocal line, but in parallel thirds, 
first with flutes and clarinets, then clarinets and bassoons. There are also harp arpeggios here to provide movement. However, the harp isn't a loud instrument, and it's also not a sustained sound, so it doesn't really compete with the voice. There are several bass instruments playing here. The trombone and the horn double the pizzicato bass line, but they always have short durations punctuated with rests. Trumpets are also present, but with a quiet, sustained octave in the lower middle register. If the trumpets had been more active, they would risk competing with the voice, but as static resonance, here they add just add a shimmer to the sound. And all the brass are marked with the quietest dynamics possible. Listen. Now let's see a different kind of interaction between soloist and orchestra. Here, near the end of Act 1, Carmen and Don Jose are singing together. The accompaniment is very light, just long sustained resonance in the horn and staccato figuration in the flute and the bassoons. Then, after a little punctuation in the pizzicato strings, Carmen continues her little ditty, already heard previously. The accompaniment is again in short notes, pizzicato in the bass and staccato in the upper strings. Then, her line is doubled by staccato bassoon and cellos. After that, a crescendo begins, giving the bass line, now sustained, to bassoons and octaves, doubled lightly on the harp. The moving accompaniment adds low clarinets now to the strings. Staccato horns and timpani gently punctuate the vocal phrase. Notice again how much of the accompaniment is in short note values. And the only sustained sound, the bassoons, is in the instrument's middle register rather than its lowest register, where it would be more intrusive. What's different about this section is how it ends. When Carmen reaches her climax on the high B, the whole orchestra arrives with the cadence, loudly. This is a common technique when orchestrating for voice. Instead of having the full orchestra play during the singer's line, it comes in as a response. In this way, BZ creates the illusion that the singer is equal to the orchestra. Let's listen. These examples teach us a lot about how to orchestrate with solo voice. Many other examples in Carmen illustrate the same principle. Keep lots of air in the texture, rests, short note values, pizzicato. Always keep the bass light and use dialogue to allow more substantial orchestral moments to intervene. <laughs> 